Hey everyone, so welcome to part 3 of the HTML Pro series of tutorials. In this tutorial, we're going to be working with the marquee tag, we're going to be working with some more CSS styles, we're going to be adding a cool background effect, um, which I'll explain to you, and we're going to be just formatting the page even more, we're going to be making some improvements on it, on it getting ready for next week's Pro Series tutorial, part 4, which is where I'm going to be teaching you how to implement forms. Uh, so let's get started. Okay, so the first thing we want to do is we want to open our uh, index.html file in Adobe Dreamweaver, and uh, this version is CS3. Okay, so now we've got it open, uh, I'm just going to maximise this, and we've got our code and our design tab. We're going to go to our design tab just to remind us um, what the uh, page looked like and everything. So we've got our menu bar, our embedded video, and we've got uh, side social networking links div box. So if we highlight this and go back to the code, it's obviously highlighted the div ID left code. So we can get rid of this, we're going to clear up our uh, page a bit. So we can get rid of div right. Um, actually, I'm going to put that back and I'm going to change it from div right to uh, div ID main. So I'm just going to leave that there. And then in the coding up here, I'm going to change that to main so it matches up and then get rid of div left because I've obviously deleted that now. Um, you can obviously leave that in, but I want to get rid of the side social networking links. I don't think they look very good, but they're just an option. We're going to change the width to 100%, change, uh, the, get rid of the margin, and then if we look at the design, that's all looking good. Um, and in the container div, um, which is the one above it, if we see we've got text align, I'm going to change that to justify, um, which basically means that it will fit everything nicely and it looks professional. So if we save it, and then we go to our HTML document, and open it in our favorite internet browser. Um, we've got a nice, clean clean section where we can add content, and obviously we've got 10 pixel padding down each side. So if we go back to the coding on Dreamweaver, and we go to the main, uh, we can see we've got padding on the left and the right of 10 pixels, which is perfect. Now we're gonna add some more content. We're gonna add some text this time, so I'm gonna just paste that in. Um, welcome to my website, etc. That's just some random text that I quickly typed in. We're going to add a couple of line breaks just to separate uh, the text from the embedded video. Press File, Save, go back to our internet browser, press Refresh, and you'll see that the text is now appearing nicely at the top, but it's overflowing a tiny bit. Now, to sort this out, we are going to change the width. Um, obviously, our YouTube video, uh, our embedded video is there as well. Um, but we are going to change the width of the text, or the whole of the main section, rather, um, in a minute. So we are going to, obviously you can see all that information. So if we go on to the main, we can change the width of this to 90%. Save it, and then press refresh, and now you can see that it's nicely in the box. It's not overflowing at all. It's nicely justified. You can change that to 98% even, or whatever you want, um, and that will work well. We've got our links at the top. Um, and but there, there's a whole bare section to this website, so we're going to fix this. Um, we're going to get a nice background going on. So we've got a background color of uh, triple E, triple E. We're going to get an image in there. So background image. Press browse, and we're going to the desktop, and into our uh, images folder, where I've created a background image which is 20 pixels by 500 pixels. It's a PNG image, and it's a fade from uh, the grey that we've got as the background color to a nice blue. Um, it's a gradient. So we're going to press OK on that. So now it's time to, uh, if we save that just as that, um, and press refresh, I'll show you what happens. It just repeats the background image, and then it starts repeating again. So it goes on and on and on, and it doesn't look very nice. Um, obviously, there's no separation. We just want it to ha happen maybe once. So we're going to go background position bottom. So uh, if we do that, and then background uh, repeat, repeat x, that repeats it a lot uh, lengthways, but not uh, height, not vertically. So if we press refresh, it's now just repeating along there. But obviously it's ending where our footer ends. We want it to end at the very bottom of the page, um, about there. So um, to change this and to fix this, we're going to go back to our uh, background CSS, and we're going to change the height to 100% and see if that does anything. And I happen to know that it won't. So if we press refresh, again, nothing happens. It's just thinking that the height is where the content ends. So 100% of the content section. So um, in order to uh, fix this issue that we have with the background and um, make it go to the very bottom of the page, um, we want to go background attachment. Uh, sorry, background. Uh, yeah, if we go to background position, that is not going to work. You can't do it like that because um, we've already got background position bottom. 
So in order to uh, fix this issue that we have, we are going to go and type in background attachment and we're going to go fixed. Um, and press file save and it now should go to the very bottom of the page. If we press refresh, as you can see it's gone to the very bottom of the page and it's a, it's fixed at the very bottom. So no matter how big a scroll there is, it's always going to be remaining at the very bottom and it's not going to move around um, with the scroll bar or anything. So it's perfectly done, that's exactly what we wanted. It's looking a lot nicer now, menu bar links and everything. Um, it's all looking perfect, it's all looking rather nice. Um, and now we're going to add some more content. So we're going to copy the menu bar that we've got. So right click copy or control C. Um, and we're going to paste the menu bar um, coding uh, directly below it. And we're going to change it. Um, we're going to copy the uh, menu, div menu. We're going to copy the div menu CSS text. So right click copy or again control C. And we're going to paste it uh, right below it. Uh, right there, control V. We're going to change it, uh, not from menu, we're going to change it to marquee, the second one. We're going to get rid of this uh, word spacing, and that's the only reason we're copying it, really. Um, there are other ways to do this, obviously, um, and we're going to change that to marquee, get rid of the menu bar contents, and we are now going to have kind of a news bar. So first of all, we need to add the marquee tag. So marquee width, 100%. So that's 100% of everything inside that div tag, not 100% of the whole page. So inside the marquee, we can add any content we want. So we're going to add news. Um, just this can be like a, a news scrolling section that you can add. It's obviously optional that you can add to your website, which will give it quite a professional and nice looking um, effect. And you can play around, add any content you want. You can even scroll images if you wanted to. You just add the image tag. But anyway, we've saved that and we're going to press refresh. And as you can see, it is now scrolling along below the menu bar. Um, which looks really nice, it's working really well um, and obviously when it gets to the, the uh, end of the page it is going to just disappear off as you can see it's disappearing off but then once it gets to the end and everything uh, comes off it's going to loop again and it's going to go back round to the start and as you can see it's scrolled back again if we wanted it just to go from side to side for example all we need to do is type in the uh, marquee tag behaviour and we want to type in alternate. So if we save this and press refresh, we'll see that it starts at that end and it's just scrolling along. <clears throat> and when it hits this end, it's gonna kind of bounce back. Uh, and again, when it hits that end, it's going to uh, bounce off again. So that's a really nice effect that we've now got on our website. That's looking really nice and uh, really professional. But the embedded video is obviously not filling up the whole uh, width of the potential width that it could be. So we can change the width in here, we're going to add 300 pixels, so 500, we're going to add it, we're going to change it to 800, and we're going to add 500 on there. So, um, so uh, height 800, uh, sorry, width uh, 800 and height uh, 530, uh, 580 rather. Uh, press file save, Ooh, press refresh, and as you can see it's filled it up, but we've got a uh, black, uh, black letter box uh, lines at the top and the bottom because we haven't uh, measured it out, we haven't changed the width exactly right but it, it's looking a lot better, it's filling up the page a lot more um, and it's looking good, it's looking nice. Um, so uh, in next week's tutorial I'm going to be teaching you guys about how to add forms. Thanks for watching guys, please don't forget to rate, comment, favourite and of course uh, subscribe. Bye for now guys.